seeing this here on the screen means a few different things. Number one, of course, I ended up winning season one of the Star Park games, which I am still kind of grappling over, very happy. But number two, and most noteworthy in my opinion, this is the design that I ended up going with for the pin that was etched in kind of congratulations to your boy. A pin that literally anyone and everyone can get here for free. Now, immediately, I thought it might make sense to go with the Mortis heart pin, seeing that that was pretty much so the focus of the majority of the pin pack opening series. But if you take a look at the roots of that series and what it was basically all about, it wasn't about trying to get the Morse heart pin. It was literally about completing all of Morse's pins to get every single pin in the game. It just so happened that the Morse heart pin was by far the hardest one to get. So not only do we get a golden crown representing a season one Star Park Games victory for your boy, but etched in it for season one for all of eternity, we have my favorite brawler Mortis, but more importantly, a symbol of that pin pack opening series for all of Morris's pins and adding another one, one that I was able to design and give to my favorite brawler to add to our Mortis collection. It just seems fitting. It's a cathartic release for the epic pin pack opening series and honestly, very, very happy the way that it came out. And I'm happy you guys can have fun with it as well, getting this completely free. But while we're here at the beginning of this episode and before we get into how you guys can get it for free, I'm going to have have to take a little bit of a selfish detour guys as of right now this pin right here i am literally the only one that owns this in the entire game no one else has claimed it so technically as of right now in a little bit it's not going to be as rare but this is the rarest pin in the entire game and your boy is going to flex it a little bit but while we're having a little bit of a fun victory lap flexing this pin being the only one in the entire world at the minute, at least, I'd like to give you guys a little bit of a back and look at the Star Park games. I promise we'll be getting into how to unlock this pin here very shortly. I'm basically making this video for my audience that has been sticking with me and rooting for me to win this bad boy and basically why I was trying so freaking hard to get this pin for all of you guys. So if the main purpose is to get that free pin while you're watching this video, just skip ahead. But that being said, I just got to give a huge round of applause to Kairos and his team that worked on this thing. Many of you guys ended up realizing that the Star Park games was recorded months ago and it was for a very good reason it wasn't because it was put off or anything like that it was just a massive undertaking and something that kairos has been working on for months and months and months building up to what you guys saw with the finished product i remember sitting down and talking with him about this such a long time ago. I'm sure you guys noticed that the challenges were a breath of fresh air, something that we've really never seen from Brawl Stars, a game that's been here for quite some time now. So everything in its entirety, I think, went amazingly. But just as a general overview of the Star Park games, it was meant to be a survivor-esque approach to a Brawl Stars competition. So it was almost incentivized to make alliances or backsnap, coming up with different ideas. How could you make your way into the finals how can you get there i really didn't know how the brawl stars community would react to something like this seeing that it's a pretty much so very first and let's be honest teaming we really don't like it but that was the name of the game you didn't just have skill to go off of you had to basically do everything you could to scrap it out and make it to the end it made for some really interesting moments for a competition setting i started to get a little bit worried and started to feel kind of bad when of course wasim was shown what he was doing in the background at the time when like all the episodes were being recorded I had no idea this was going on but that man had this whole competition playing around his finger it was really impressive and it was kind of sad to see a lot of people hating on Wasim the man went galaxy brain mode to make it to the finals which he ended up doing it using his huge brain and social skills and I gotta be completely honest this series wouldn't have been as fun of a watch if Wasim didn't play the way he did other than that, throughout every single episode of the challenge, it was once again a breath of fresh air. The challengers were so much fun. I was really getting into the competition itself. Aside from the fun and things like that, I tried to play a bit more of a neutral.
neutral approach to the entire competition, just being friendly, kind of doing what I normally do, which definitely ended up benefiting me towards the end when votes came back when I made it to the finals, where four people ended up giving me an extra brawler life for the duels Nuzlocke competition. Wait, this yeah, is four? Guys. Ray, Ben, Nat, OJ, no. and Lex each oh my a bonus <laughs> brawler. <laughs> oh my. Now, I gotta be frank with you all. That final episode, I thought I was truly going to die. It was far longer of a recording than you guys would expect. I think it shaped up to being like five hours straight. And oh boy, was it a doozy to say the least. One thing in particular that I've seen a little bit on the final episode of the Star Park games is saying that I got a bit of an unfair advantage with the four extra lives, which I felt super, super gracious for it. And at the same time, a bit more uncomfortable because I knew some people would think that, you know, getting four extra lives is a big deal. I think the way that it turned out was pretty deserved. The only thing that I felt a little bit bad for and I showed in the video was Nubs not getting anything. Nubs, nobody awarded you a bonus. <laughs> <player>. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Throughout the entire competition, he was incredibly neutral, befriending a lot of people. He wasn't backstabbing or anything like that. But I think what kind of did it in for him was at the end of the third episode, so Nubs kind of allied with Wasim and Connor, maybe not directly, but Wasim and Connor helped get Nubs through and that was kind of their game plan. Not really verbally confirmed, but seeing that they're all helping each other going into the final episode, I don't think it helped out a ton that right after that episode, Kairos would ask who you want to give extra lives to. So seeing that it was like 3v1 going into the fourth episode and no one knowing what the format was going to be, it was pretty much so thought that it would be 3v1. Thankfully, it was a duels Nuzlocke tournament, so we got away from teaming and stuff like that. But another thing that I feel like wasn't conveyed and added so much stress to the fourth episode, and honestly, still surprised that I ended up winning, was going into it, I only had a two brawler advantage over Connor. The man had two extra votes in that brawler saving thing, and we were tied without the extra lives. But because I had a small margin more brawlers than Connor, throughout the entirety of the duels Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke challenge, I was playing by far the most. The way it was formatted and briefly stated by Kairos is it would be the person with the most brawlers would be playing the very next game and pretty much so defending himself against another competitor. It's the reason why towards the end when it was just me, Nubs, and Connor, I played literally every single match. And at the end of a five hour competition, playing every single game in these stressful situations, I was fried dude and i think i just got lucky or the motivation to getting this pin for you guys really pulled me through i have no idea but yeah in the end it was such an enjoyable competition and i hope you all enjoyed yourselves watching it but with the little recap out of the way it's now time to get straight away into how you guys can unlock this free pin everyone gets it for free baby your boy ray's got the pin i created it and i'm definitely not keeping it for myself baby i want to celebrate with all of you guys for goodness sakes it's the reason why i tried so dang hard so this isn't a giveaway where you guys have to rely on luck, where only a select few are going to get a specific thing. Heck no, dude. Would you take a look at this beautiful QR code in the top right hand corner of your screen? If you're watching this on a different device, scan it with your phone. Make sure you're logged on to the account that you want the pin on. Or if you're watching this on your phone, there's going to be a link in the description. Once again, make sure you're logged onto the account that you want the crown on. I believe it should work more than once, but just be safe. Make sure to do it on your account that you want it on. And it's as simple as that. A truly good feeling giveaway, I would say. No restrictions, no rules, no nothing, dude. Just everyone gets it. It's literally my favorite type of giveaway. You guys know I've never been a huge, huge fan of giveaways, seeing that literally the majority of people feel bad because they didn't get lucky. Such a small population of people end up getting it. But this one, dude, we all get to have fun. We all get to celebrate this victory and we all get to celebrate the amazing pin pack opening series which i wanted to win this for so yeah not required or anything like that but if you guys would like to subscribe i would greatly appreciate that and look forward to more content right around the corner i would also really appreciate that you guys truly are the absolute best and honestly i don't think i would have won without the motivation to trying to get this pin for you guys it just made sense dude i'm the pin pack guy we had to get this thing for all of you who have been sticking around here but hopefully you all enjoyed the video if you didn't make sure to slap a like on it 
I'd really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep on phone Brawl Stars, and we'll see you all in the next one. Adios, and take care. Whew.